It's a an intense ride with a lot of great characters, a lot of great moments, and a very real sense of 2003 New York that I think people will love. And I had a really fun time watching it, and I hope other people will as well. I play Charlie, who starts out as this insecure, uh, anxious little kid who doesn't really know his place in the world, uh, especially after the loss of his father. And um, through Sam, he kind of has this um, rejuvenation, and he becomes someone with a sense of purpose, and then the tragedy strikes, and then he kind of loses himself all over again. And it's about his, uh, Charlie has a great arc throughout the series, learning to stand on his own two feet. We had some great people working on uh, music and fashion, both fronts. Uh, Y2K is such a fun uh, time for clothing, and I think they nailed it. And it's cool, uh, Charlie, as he evolves throughout the series, gets to wear uh, outfits that kind of represent who he's being influenced by as well, which is like such a cool detail. And obviously the music is incredible. Um, I, just the, even the in-universe band, Ex Post Facto or Ex Nihilo, is like, we got to listen to the songs and it, while we were on set, and it's really cool. People love City on Fire if they love crime, mystery, if you love Josh and Stephanie, if you love good TV, you'll like the show.